the Dursley family, Harry Potter's relatives who for many years mistreated him and suppressed him in every possible way, seem to some to be almost as evil as the Dark Lord with his Death Eaters. The Dursleys, indeed, appear very repulsive in many episodes, especially noticeable in the film adaptation where only this side of them is shown. Indeed, Vernon Petunia and their son Dudley demeaned and humiliated Harry in every way deprived him of many childhood joys, restricted his freedom, and tried to forcibly change his nature. Therefore, the aversion they provoke in most viewers and readers is quite understandable. However, it's also possible to see the Dursleys from another perspective. In the books and the adaptation, there are several subtle facts that, if not fully justifying this family of muggles, help to understand their motives and to notice that even they are capable of changing for the better and eliciting sympathy. In this video, I will present several such facts that reveal a more positive side of the Dursleys. Fact number one, Petunia also dreamed of becoming a witch. Petunia, Lily's own sister, Harry's mother. In early childhood, the girls were very close, but their relationship deteriorated significantly when Lily's magical abilities were discovered. The sisters learned that Lily was destined for an amazing life at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and a life filled with wonders. Petunia also wanted such a fate for herself, but she lacked magical abilities. She so passionately wished to also become a witch that she even wrote a letter to Dumbledore, asking to be admitted to Hogwarts, but this was impossible. Surely this caused the girl significant emotional trauma, because from then on, Petunia practically cut off her relationship with her sister and changed completely, becoming disdainful and fearful of any deviation from the accepted norms, with her dream being to lead the most ordinary and mundane life possible. Regardless, such a shattering of all hopes evokes sympathy. Petunia was not to blame for her lack of magical talent, and her desire to keep up with her sister is perfectly understandable and natural. Fact number two, the Dursleys' poor treatment of Harry's parents had a reason. Not surprisingly, with such a background, Petunia chose a husband like Vernon, a convinced materialist, utterly down to earth, who was concerned only with mundane things. Salary, household management, profit, house, car, etc. Vernon Dursley developed a dislike for James and Lily, even while they were alive. Towards Lily, because Petunia told Vernon how she was ashamed of her witch sister, and Vernon immediately loyal to his future wife, branded her despised sister. And he disliked James Potter after a specific incident. Vernon and Petunia were engaged. James was dating Lily, and the two couples decided to have dinner together. James immediately amused Vernon with his seriousness and business-like demeanor appearance. James began to tease him. When Vernon asked about his car, James described his broom, and when the conversation turned to income, he boasted that he had gold bars in the bank. Vernon could not stand such teasing, and the evening ended in an argument. Although James promised to reconcile with Vernon later, he never did. Back number three, the Dursleys overcame their beliefs and nature out of duty. Nonetheless, when Harry's parents were killed by the Dark Lord, Dumbledore tasked the infant to be raised by the Dursleys, a family that essentially despised the boy's father, a family that openly and repeatedly emphasized their dislike of magic and everything associated with it. For years, Petunia and Vernon tried to build their life so that it was as normal as possible. A normal job, a normal house, a normal son Dudley, normal interests and leisure. For them, this was genuinely important. And then, without asking them, fate in the form of Dumbledore threatens to destroy this entire world of normalcy by throwing them the most abnormal infant. The embodiment of the magical world the Dursleys could not stand. And yet the Muggles agreed to this because the sense of duty was not foreign to them and they understood that otherwise, Harry would be in danger. Speaking of the threats facing the infant, fact number four, the Dursleys voluntarily risked themselves to protect Harry. 
Along with the infant, Dumbledore sent the Dursleys a detailed letter, explaining in detail what exactly happened to James and Lily, who killed them, and why. This means Petunia and Vernon were aware that the greatest dark wizard of their time, who would stop at nothing and had dozens of cruel followers, was hunting their nephew. The Dursleys also learned that only living with them could protect Harry, as this was how Lily's protective spell worked. In a place that the boy could call his home, he would be protected from all threats. Yes, Voldemort was considered dead by that time. However, many Death Eaters remained at large, posing a real threat. Moreover, the Dursleys knew little about the magical world and the powers of wizards, and were surely afraid of, among other things, the Dark Lord's return. Nevertheless, knowing all the dangers, they agreed to take the boy in, and expose not only themselves, but also their own son to these dangers. Yes, they did not hide their dislike for Harry, but they did not kick him out or send him to an orphanage. They raised him as best they could. Back number five, Dudley mended his relationship with Harry over the years. Dudley was Petunia and Vernon's only and beloved son, whom they constantly spoiled. The boy took after his parents in his selfish attitude towards the world, as well as in his contempt and bullying of Harry, whom he tormented from early childhood into adolescence. He grew up quite a nasty and spoiled boy, formed a gang with similar guys, and together they bullied the weak. However, after one incident, Dudley changed significantly. Specifically, after an encounter with the Dementor, which nearly killed him. During this encounter, Dudley as if saw himself from the outside and saw all the nastiness of his behavior and attitude towards others. After that, he began to change. At the height of the confrontation with Voldemort, when the Dursleys were evacuated to a safe place, he acknowledged that Harry had saved his life and wished his cousin luck. Subsequently, when Dudley grew up, he started a family and maintained a connection with Harry, Yes, they did not become best friends, but they maintained quite warm relations. Moreover, Rowling said that she initially even thought of making Dudley's child a wizard, which would have brought him even closer to Harry. But this plot twist did not make it into the final version of the story. What do you think of the Dursleys? Do you consider them purely negative characters? Loved unraveling the mysteries of Hogwarts with us? Subscribe for more magical insights into Harry Potter's universe. Join our community of wizards and witches in exploring every spell and storyline.